Hello guys, and you remember that on this channel we often have lessons of Russian geography where we discover more about Russian cities based on the locations of explosions and destructions there. Of course, all the materials are provided by Ukrainian armed forces. And today we travel to the heart of the rotting empire, Moscow, because in the result of successful Ukrainian intelligence operation, one of the helicopters was destroyed in Moscow. I know helicopter is not equal to a huge oil refinery or, for example, an A-50 aircraft, but still in the heart of Russia, in Moscow, near Kremlin. Can you imagine something similar happening in your capital and your government, your president, pretending everything is fine? Once again, it proves that Russia only pretends everything and pretends its own image of strength when in reality Russian rear is totally unprotected. Another important event of the day is the visit of Mr. Blinken to China and hopefully China will hear the message. If they continue selling military-like products to Russia even in disguise, they may have problems with trade and I'm sure for China trade is a priority, not Putin. Let me tell you more from an ordinary Ukrainian perspective. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. My longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. And remember, I love you very much. So tonight it was loud in Moscow, in the very heart of the dying Russian Empire which is, by the way, a symptom of this dying process agony. Uh, a helicopter was liquidated by the Special Military Operation of Ukrainian Intelligence. This is a military helicopter that belonged to Hasprom. And Hasprom is an extremely monstrous creation of Russian oligarchy that supplies everything and also tries to buy lots of politicians, lots of opinions and so on. I know, I agree with you that it is not the greatest target of the recent months, but definitely it is extremely symbolic. Well, first of all, because this is in Moscow. What does it mean in general? Well, first of all, it demonstrates how unprotected Russian Rhea is, even the capital. Because once again, if something similar would happen in Paris, London or Washington, that would be a huge sensation all over the news. People would speak about that. In Russia, they pretend nothing happened. Only weak people, only weak politicians do that. And once again, they have nothing to explain. They cannot explain it anyway, even using the most rotten propagandists uh, for the job. Also, it demonstrates that uh, even if they have this air defense, they either don't know how to use it or it is rotten, just like everything in Russia, or uh, they are too self-confident, not believing something similar may happen. Once again, people can be deceived by their own lies. And this is very characteristic for the Russian regime, by the way. Russian lies is something very bad that can spoil millions of lives. Today we commemorate victims of Chernobyl catastrophe. By the way, people of my generation in Ukraine are often referred to as Chernobyl generation, you know, not the best reference, same as generation of war, and all due to Russian negligence. The catastrophe itself was a huge tragedy, but still the fact that Russia was trying to hide it, Moscow did everything and did not warn people who left, who lived really close to the epicenter and they continued walking, they went to parades and they exposed themselves to huge um, waves of radiation just because Kremlin wanted to pretend everything is fine. By the way, we have a really good video about that in our Soviet mess debunked series about Chernobyl catastrophe. So once again, it is very common for Russia when they have any problems, they never comment about them, they never uh, acknowledge that, and you will never find that in Russian news, but that may be a signal of like collapsing uh, regime. Actually, Chernobyl catastrophe contributed greatly to the collapse of the USSR and maybe more and more explosions on the Russian territory will also lead to the collapse of the Putin's regime. So I'm not that optimistic about millions of zombied people. <laughs> 
Uh, remember to subscribe and demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine and help us spread more information about this war. It is extremely important. And remember to like and share the videos if you feel like liking and sharing the videos. But why not share and like a video about the destroyed helicopter in Moscow? Something that indeed seemed unbelievable at the start of full-scale invasion, when everyone on the planet was afraid of Russian superpowers but we actually exposed their weakness and it is great and I'm sure China who greatly supports Russia there are lots of intelligence evidence how they do it even docking um, North Korean ships that carry weapons to Russia in Chinese harbors which is really bad and in this modern world you cannot hide everything and there are satellite images and there are analytics who work with them and that's why I think that this visit of um, Blinken to China was very important and I hope they've heard them. I don't trust China just as I don't trust any authoritarian regimes when they never change presidents or whatever they name uh, them. But uh, China, uh, in contrast to Russia, is extremely, extremely pragmatic. They are very much about earning, trading and if... Uh, democratic leaders find proper strategies, perhaps they will slow down China in the support of Russia, but I totally agree with the majority of sane people who stress it's extremely important not to be dependent on China and not to be dependent on Russia because, well, Russia has already illustrated it, how it blackmails, how it manipulates resources, access to something, and in general, it is always a bad thing to depend on a person, on a country, on a company that demonstrates evil, unjust, manipulative behavior. So don't think of it as a problem. Think of that as a solution, the way to save your families, your future, the future of your children from uh, extremely toxic regimes that otherwise could have manipulated their um, lifestyle, distort it and cause chaos. Maybe this is for the best that we understand it now and we are starting to change that finally. So uh, let me know what are the other topics you would like to hear on the channel. Remember to join me on Instagram, Threads, Twitter and Discord. We have beautiful communities there. Also, we have a beautiful merch shop with lots of interesting products that work well as conversation starters and reminders about Ukraine and simply beautiful items. And uh, I am very grateful to patrons, sponsors of the channel and those beautiful people who buy me coffee. I transform that into my energy and more projects to come on the channel. And I'm really glad to share with you. And I'm very grateful for the support that millions of Ukrainians feel daily. You make it all possible for us. So once again, thank you. United we stand and Slava Ukraini.